we are seeing the terrorist threat changing. We are see it in, seeing it evolve, and we need to respond to that. And as I said on the steps of Downing Street, enough is enough, and things have to change. And that's why I've said I believe we do need to do more to tackle the ideology that is motivating the perpetrators of these attacks. We do need to have those international agreements to regulate cyberspace so that terrorists cannot plan online. I think we need to do more to stamp out extremism here in communities in Britain. And yes, we do need to look at the powers for the police and security intelligence agencies to make sure that as the threat evolves, they have the powers that they need. And I've talked about some of those powers, like making it easier to deport uh, foreign terrorist suspects, uh, like uh, being able to do more to restrict the freedom and movements of terror suspects when we know uh, they are a threat, uh, but when we're not able to, we don't have the evidence to prosecute them fully in court and uh, longer sentences for terrorism-related offences, for those who are uh, convicted of terrorism-related offences. And what I've been clear about is that if human rights laws gets in the way of us doing those things, which I think are necessary as the threat has evolved, then we will change those laws.